Okay, here's what I had noticed about orthogonal matrices. This is what I was taught. If a matrix is orthogonal, its transpose is equal to its inverse. That's it. Then I got to looking at what I figured out about matrix multiplies last week. And there I had noticed that the first row times the column is like doing a dot product, which gives you an x coordinate. Second row times column gives you a y coordinate. And the third row times the column gives you a z coordinate. So it's just like projecting the column vector into a new coordinate system, which is cool, but messy if the x's, y's, and z's aren't all orthogonal to each other. And that's when it hit me. That's what an orthogonal matrix is. An orthogonal matrix is defined to be a matrix where all of its rows are orthogonal unit vectors and all of its columns are, are orthogonal unit vectors. So there's just one question left now. If all your rows are orthogonal unit vectors, are you guaranteed that all your columns are as well? And here's the picture for the day from the ferry between Bridgeport Jefferson, New York and Bridgeport, Connecticut. See ya.